Hello guys, welcome. So how do you connect Zendrop to WooCommerce? So there's a bunch of steps and there's a bunch of ways, but the quickest way is just to directly go to Zendrop itself because once you click Zendrop, it's just going to, the step that is going to require you to do is just to create your built-in store and then you're golden from there. So let's just go to Zendrop. It's a drop shipping platform. Don't confuse Zendrop as a store or a seller platform it's a drop shipping platform first and foremost okay so it requires you to create your own store whether pre-made or already made like mine so as you can see there's the woocommerce here just click on claim my free store if you don't have any store yet or in this case i already have a store to connect from woocommerce as a to use zendrop as a third party drop shipping so that's just it. Once you click one of those, you're golden from there. You can start your profile and basically connect it to. And that's just it. It's supposed to be this would be the end of the video, but let's just dive into a couple of variables and a couple of drop shipping methods. So this is the shop that I'm talking about. You could absolutely create one on Zendrop by you know, basically choosing the first option to create your own shop there. But since I already have my own shop and this is a matter of fact, this is a shop that I use in real life. So I actually connect to Shopify as well. And I use this as my main shop to basically you know, sell, resell basically so these are the shops i mean these are the basically platforms that are connected to woocommerce if you don't want to do it if you don't want to connect them directly if you don't want to connect zandrop basically so that's just basically it there's just no way for you to connect zandrop to a basically a buyer platform because zandrop is basically a drop shipping platform so you're going to be in this one since this one is connected to the WooCommerce we're going to be inputting an email here let's just put it for sample and that is basically it so let's just go ahead and dive into a couple of basics on drop shipping methods okay so for example let's just put any email here so this email has to be the one that you've been using on your shop if you've created one already or if you have one already so the beautiful thing about the Zendrop is it actually works with a lot of shops and almost all shops because it's just a drop shipping platform. It's not a shop itself, so to say, and it's also not a website builder. Don't confuse the two of being a website builder. It is basically a drop shipping platform. That's just basically it. So once you click install here, you're going to be you know, on par with the applications that are connected to WooCommerce okay and on WooCommerce they also have a lot of basically drop shippers as well like CJ drop shipping in this case I get my product from Aliexpress okay I get my product from Aliexpress sometimes Amazon but ultimately I use Aliexpress for drop shipping because it's of my country's currency again it's, you're not required to do so um, we're just delving into some basics of drop shipping methods so that you guys can get you know, a glimpse of what it actually is like to basically use platforms to platform, platform from platform to basically, especially this, this one, Equit as well. So basically good substitute for WooCommerce if you're a newbie, a lot more traversable, a lot more less complex than WooCommerce itself. So yeah, just give it a try. But um, ultimately, dropshipping is basically three things. Uh, the source is number one. Number two is basically a no forget that scratch that the source is your shop as well so shop and then your source and then your connector platform that's it the connector platform is could be cj drop shipping it is a drop shipping platform um which you could basically use to you see that you want to get some products there or you want to affiliate marketing 
if you want to be affiliate marketing style or affiliating other products you can basically connect from tiktok shop to uh basically go there but zendrop that's where zendrop comes in because you don't need to do that if you have zendrop so see these creators here that's what exactly they've been doing especially the top tier creators and uh this is something that i've been i've been passionate about and uh, i've done a lot of research too and uh Zendrop is the way to go in order for you to um, connect WooCommerce and uh, basically provide your niche and basically create your own store if you don't have any store yet. Like today, build my own store. You could basically build here. See, I already have a store on my TikTok shop. I already have connected it here to Zendrop. So, uh, that's just basically it okay that's how well i don't know if it's simple for you guys it's certainly not simple for the newbies but you'll get the hang of it once you know a couple of months pass on your time doing drop shipping and doing basically online selling on the e-commerce community okay so that's the beautiful thing about Zendrop is if you don't have a store, it creates one for you. But if you uh, don't have a store yet, again, I mean, if you already have a store, then um, it basically just complements your store by uh, linking the two, by using WooCommerce as a linker platform between the two. So that's just it. You just put your company company address here. First name, mobile number, company name. I'm not going to delve into this, all of this, because um, as you know, YouTube is regulating all of these stuff. You know, sharing informations, especially credit numbers. So uh, that's just basically it for the third-party drop shipping. And that's the beautiful thing about Zendrop is that you could absolutely create a store for yourself, or just go ahead and you no. Know, link the pre-existing store that you have using Zendrop by using WooCommerce as a basically bridge platform to interwove the two. I know it's a lot more, I know this is uh, very complicated to really, I know there's a lot to take in as a newbie, but you'll eventually catch up one day. I remember when I first started, um, selling online i really don't know what to do besides you know i man i really don't even have a niche like these guys here uh that's why it's really important to have a niche so to say okay so i certainly hope that that this video has been a help for you guys and thank you so much for watching and yeah you guys enjoy your day have a nice day